Hey guys, uh, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a campaign, create an automatic Walmart campaign. Uh, so in my previous video, I told you how to how you could get into ad center, the Walmart ad center. Um, you need to apply for the Walmart media group, the Walmart advertisement. Once you get that, you'll be pretty much seeing it on top of the Walmart uh, seller account. Uh, you need to click on ad center. Uh, this then opens up. Uh, you need to click on create a campaign uh, on uh, on the previous video, we did automatic. This one, we're going to do manual bidding. Uh, then we go next. Uh, name of the campaign test. Uh, again, I've explained this all of this stuff on the previous video. You can watch it and um, see what the difference between total budget, real budget, and uh, the campaign start. How to start it? How to have it to uh, end it at a certain period? Uh, then you go next. All right. So this was taken already. Uh, then you have the options to uh, basically show your ads on different placements um, and then I've explained the buy box and all other information you can uh, I can also explain about all of this stuff uh, separately so uh, you can click on uh, you can basically click on if you want to uh, have your ads been shown into these different placements yes or no uh, search ingots are uh, are in uh, basically a built-in stuff so whenever someone searches your product um, or any product as a matter of fact uh, they would basically um, over here when you see the sponsored section this is the search ingot basically and even here uh, when you see over here you can even uh, sponsor your products over here so it's something that's already uh, it's a given um, and then uh, you just need to go next once you've selected your placements uh, i've talked about this uh, so uh, in the previous video so you can bid according to your uh, needs uh, if you want your customers to see your products more on a certain placement you can uh, provide that uh, information to the um, advertisement console uh, then you go to save you add a new group yes. And then you need to add the item so you just need to type in your item name or a number the listing id uh, i'm going to put in here, over here then just select one for that uh, and this is how i would add the item and then i would go next and then there's like a lot of keywords over here uh, they, these are all suggested keywords you can add your keywords as well uh, and over here you will see all the keywords that you, you are bidding currently so let's say I want to uh, go with this keyword, XYZ keyword. I will put in the suggested bid. I said this suggested bid is 0.84, so I'll put in 0.84. I usually go with 0.94, just 10% more than the suggested bid. I would then uh, click on add. If for I, if for example, I just want to put it for the one key uh, for the one match type, then I would go to bid keywords, and now you can see there's uh, uh, basically. Now you can see that uh, the keyword is over here. You can also add the other match type over here. So uh, that we can add this. Add the keyword. Now these keywords would be uh, saved to your campaign. You can now go save. And then just click on schedule campaign and that's pretty much it. Now you've uh, basically turned on your sponsored product um, a manual campaign on Walmart. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And if you have any questions, please let me know in your comments. And uh, uh, I hope that you like the video. Thank you.